welcome back to my cooking nooks fed up fast easy and delicious thanks for joining us today and we've got a great menu for you as you know some of my favorites is mexican food today okay so let's get cooking here we go so today to keep the mexican theme mexican um citrus and, and lemon any citrus lemon lime orange is great with mexican cooking it's a great blend so i'm making lemon lime cookies that are going to go in the oven okay and then we've got chicken quesadillas and we've got the sole okay so i'm going to get started right now i turn my oven on now because the cookies take 10 minutes so i'm preheating and by the time i get it mixed up and the cookies out it'll be going in the oven okay so i'm using lemon cake mix today today i have some helpers I'm gonna have you turn and look that All way. All right, we're gonna pan around right. here, everybody. We got Eden Jace, who's gonna be making my Mexican punch today. The punch is Hi. delicious, very citrusy punch. And then we've got my daughters, Ashley and Emily, helping today. Hello, girls. Okay, so out of cake mix, we're gonna make cookies, okay? It's very simple. So we're gonna do, it's the, it's the whole cake mix. It's a half a cup of oil, okay? two eggs. Use your box, get rid of it. Clean as you go. Okay, there you go. Gonna mix that up. And then I'm probably gonna add um, some lime zest. Since it's, a cake, since it's gonna be a lemon lime thing, I'm gonna add some zest into this. And then I'm also gonna add just a drop of freshly squeezed lime juice just to give it that really lemon-lime citrus cookie taste, okay? And this is going to be a quick and a very easy recipe. And let me get a spoon because I wanna get all that batter out of there. And then I'm gonna take my um, little ice cream scoop and we're gonna get pretty good sized cookies, but we're gonna put them on parchment paper, okay? So let me get this all out of here. And how's everybody doing today? We're glad you're with us. I'm going to tell you at the end of the show, we're going to be adding a whole different segment to this show. And it's very exciting. And it's something that needs to be done in Branson, Missouri. And I'll tell you about that shortly. Okay, so here's the batter. Chris, can you see that? I can see that. Okay, Looking here's good. our batter. Let me move that. By the way, this is episode number 13. It is very 13. Excited. Very excited about that. Okay, Eden, you know what? Mm -hmm. You can start on the um, the Mexican punch if you'd like. And while, I, while I'm, you can scan over to them. Yep, we'll catch this right syrup. down here. And while they're That's doing that, I'm just thing. adding my lime zest, okay? Yeah, sure. And a little mm -hmm. bit of the lime juice. All oh, these are gonna be great citrus cookies. So do you want us to explain the I would the like you to explain the juice. Okay, so why don't you tell them what you just did? So I need to put in some sugar and then some hot water for the simple syrup. Good job. Okay. He's then, learning. Here, and mix it He's up. He's learning. Yep, dissolve all, all the sugar. Mix, up, right? mix it all up and dissolve all the sugar. Okay, Ash, I have a job for you. Come sure. over here. So Fran's on with us, hello. and Alicia says, hello, everybody. Okay, Terry Hargett Lindner, hey, hello, Teresa everybody. says, lucky number 13. Lucky number 13, and we're going strong, let me tell you. Okay. And okay. Nina, hello, Nina says, hello all. Hello. All right, so okay. they're making the, the, the Mexican punch right now. So okay. he just made the simple syrup, now we're then doing. We're gonna add some of the lime juice mm -hmm. and the orange juice. Very good. Now those are fresh squeezed, by the way. Fresh squeezed. Fresh lime squeezed. And orange juice. That was from one orange and one lime. Mm -hmm. That's you the juice stir we Stir that all together. You're going to stir that up. You're doing a great job, you guys. Catch you down here, mixing <laughs> up our Mexican punch there. Okay, okay. now so Ashley much. is going to be using the ice cream scoop, and she's going to be just scooping as many cookies as you can get. And then as soon as the oven goes beep, 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 you put it in. Now. Okay, so here's the deal. 
So today I'm making two main dishes, okay? But it's still pretty cold in Branson right now. As a matter of fact, we actually had a chill last night where we had to bring plants in and stuff. So I thought, soup. I'm gonna do soup. Whoops. And it's pasole. Now what is pasole? Pasole is hominy soup. So in the in a an authentic Mexican home, pasole takes it's a very long process and it's an all day kind of a cooking thing and it's amazing. But because we're fast, easy, and delicious, I'm gonna make my version of the pasole. Now, I'm not gonna lose the integrity of the soup at all because <clears throat> all of my ingredients are exactly what are put in pasole. This is chicken pasole. You can make beef, you can make pork. So you have a choice of what kind of pasole you want, what kind of meat is in it. But today I'm using chicken because I'm a chicken person, okay? So last night I went ahead and I um, cooked the chicken. I just boiled chicken and today I chopped it up. So I've got chopped chicken for this and I've got chopped chicken for guess what? My green chili chicken quesadillas. On a menu. All right, but I'm going to start on the pasole right now. Again, pasole is hominy soup. And hominy, you know, I was like, what it, exactly what is hominy? Well, hominy, I want to show you what it looks like. If you haven't seen hominy and you're not familiar with it, this is hominy, okay? And hominy is, this is corn, okay? But there's a process that this goes through to become these big, giant, kernels okay it's now i want to look at i want to make sure i get the name right because it's um it's it's a it's a big process okay it's called nixtamalization nixtamalization okay and it's just a just they put pressure on an actual corn kernel and then the actual little lining of the corn the yellow um, lining of the, the kernel actually pops off like popcorn would do. And that hard little part of the kernel is what hurts people's stomach. So what I read about it is that people that have any kind of intestinal problems, they can't usually eat regular corn, but hominy they can. So for those of you out there that might have an issue with that, give hominy a try because I, all the research that I did did say that hominy is much, much easier on your stomach. Well, okay? That's and interesting. That's Didn't my know daughter, that. Yes, my yeah. daughter Emily has ulcerative colitis, right. mm -hmm. and so maybe pasole is the thing. Or, or maybe, can... yeah, maybe those with you know issues like diverticulitis or something like that, Use where the, the husks. You husks like corn. Yeah. You know, you like corn. Mm -hmm. This yeah. might be the I way to do it thought, because if and they I never thought to do that. Try. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. It, it, when I do research for my stuff. I'm finding a lot of very interesting things. So nixtamalization means to get rid of that para, they call it a pericarp. Pericarp is the skin of the corn. Okay, right now my pan is heating up. That's why I'm telling you stuff. But what, and it pops off in the process. Well, how do they do that? They actually soak it in, in lime. Wow. They soak it in lime. This goes back to the Aztecs in the 16th century. This process, yes. All right. Jen Let's Deal is in the house. Hello, Jen Deal in the house. How are you, Ma? Yes. They're kind of big scoops, so I didn't want to put them too close. So I just did six for now because I thought they might spread a little bit. You can just put them in. Uh, let's just just use it up. Just put one there and wherever you can fit it, and let's get it in the oven. Those are going to be oh man, those are going to be awesome. Yeah, so when the like cookies come out, we're going to do a little lime icing on top. Ooh, okay. That sounds good. All right, so this is nice and hot here. Okay, so how are we gonna start the pasole? We're gonna start with uh, onion. I diced a big fat onion and about a tablespoon of minced garlic, okay? Now, in an authentic Mexican kitchen, they would actually do cloves of garlic and you soak the garlic and, and all this stuff. Right now, this is all shortcut, fast, easy, and delicious. But I'm telling you, the actual integrity of what the soup is, all of those ingredients will be in there, okay? So for all of you amazing Mexican cooks out there, this is in no means to take away from what you guys do in your kitchen. This is just fast, easy, and delicious, okay? So let's go ahead and get my onion. I always love that sound. <laughs> I love that sound. Now you guys know that I always do skillet cooking, but 
soup's got to be cooked in this, okay? This kind of a soup, because there's a lot that's going to go in here. But I am going to use my skillet the for my kitchen. The skillet's pastry. ready on the side. Ready it's again. ready. Okay, so right now, I'm just going to, I am going to um, uh, saute my onion. In a second, I'm actually going to add the minced garlic. If you add the minced garlic first, it tends to burn very, very quickly. Oh, there you go, Ash. You can put those in. Look at those. I want you to see the oh, cookies. Yeah. Okay, there's the cookies. Going in the oven, bottom shelf. Ashley, put 10 minutes and then we'll check them. A little way. Yeah. Okay. All right, come on over here. So you can see the onions are looking and smelling amazing. Okay, very, very beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I already love the smell in this kitchen. Oh, yeah. More oil. Fernanda says, great outfit. Your apron is great. I know. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Minced garlic going in. Thanks, Mom. I appreciate that. Chris has been telling me that I need to, I'm going to put that on low, that I need to wear aprons. And we're actually going to get aprons that have my cooking nook set up on it. But for now, it is a good idea to wear the apron in the kitchen because I, honestly, you know, I always get a little messy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn that down now. Very perfect. Oh, and I'm getting onion all over the place. Yes. She's just commenting, I think, on your corn. Yes. Uh, she said, "Hominy, interesting because my stomach doesn't like corn." Try the hominy because the part that would irritate your stomach is comes off in that process. So try the hominy. And the hominy, just the texture of it's great. The taste is great. It's really a I think a very underrated vegetable. Vegetable? Would it be? Yes. Yeah, it's a very, very underrated vegetable. And it's very delicious. Now, you do have to drain it and you do have to rinse it off. Okay? Don't just take it out of the can and eat it that way. Okay. So now I've got my the onions are pretty translucent and we've got the garlic and that's looking beautiful. Yes, it that? is. Okay, beautiful. Nice. Now Chris, puppy back there, actually <laughs> roasted these. These are poblano peppers, okay? He actually roasted them outside this morning. And then you take, it's very soft once it's roasted. You have to take the outer skin off, take the, the, the little seeds inside out, and dice it. And that's what this is, right? This is two poblano peppers, and that is going in. I want to make sure I get all of them. And while I was doing that, I yeah. said that I have realized that the smell of peppers roasting is one of my favorite smells in the From world. Arizona, you know, you like like he said when he used to go out and clean our pool in the morning. The grocery store that was literally right across the, right around the corner from our house would roast these peppers right outside the store yep. and you could just uh, i mean it just it washes just, through the air it was yeah amazing. It was amazing okay chris look at that all right okay yeah, look at that a great base right there okay so what i did was i had when i when i cooked my chicken last night i saved the broth okay but for today i'm going to add the low sodium chicken broth the Swanson's low sodium is a great broth, and of course, you guys out there know with Meniere's, you have to do everything low sodium. We cannot have sodium. Sodium retains water, it makes us dizzier, which we absolutely don't need any help with. So, I'm going to put the low sodium broth in, but I have a bunch of uh, leftover broth from last night, so I'm going to see how much I need. I also have a small can of the low sodium chicken broth. I'm going to add those first. And then if I need more, then I will go ahead and add my broth. Otherwise, I'll just save my broth for another day. Okay, this is great. Look at this. Come on over, Chris, and see. Oh, yeah. It's going to be an amazing soup. And while I was looking up the recipes for this, I found that... Um, what the normal spices that go in here are chili and cumin, oregano. Guess what? My shortcut is the taco seasoning has all three of those in that. So fast, easy, and delicious. 
I'm using a whole um, envelope of, of the taco seasoning, the mild taco seasoning, because it's got all of the seasonings that are in the, the soup, okay? Yes, the great. <laughs> Look at that. It's already looking beautiful. I'm going to turn that up because I want that to start bubbling. And I'm going to put this can in. Chris, go ahead and look at that if you, you will. You got it. That is going to be some awesome soup here in just a little bit. That is going to be bit. delicious soup. Okay. One of the very last things I'm going to do is put the hominy in. Okay. But this is absolutely going to be an amazing pot of soup in no time at all. Okay. So we're going to start over here, but in the meantime, I'm going to let this boil a little bit and then I'm going to simmer it for a little bit and then I'm going to add some of my other ingredients. Okay, so let me turn that down a little bit. Okay, now here we are at the quesadilla mm -hmm. station. One of my favorite all-time Mexican foods are quesadillas. What is a quesadilla? A quesadilla is a folded tortilla with queso, meaning cheese. So you have to have cheese in a quesadilla. But today it's a chicken green chili quesadilla. Okay, so I've got my chicken, I've got cheese, I've got green chili, I've got tortillas, and I've got my skillet, my handy oh, dandy yeah. electric skillet. <laughs> and so we're going to make here, amazing like quesadillas. Okay? And, and, and Harlan's here with us hello, now. Hello, Harlan, how are you? Enjoy the quesadillas and oh. pasole and okay. so the lemon lime my, cookies. I'm going to get my platter ready because once the quesadillas are done, I'm going to lay them on here. Okay? And I'm going to let this heat up a minute. You always want to start with a hot grill because if you were to just take the grill, put the oil, then plug it in or turn it on, the oil heats up differently and you couldn't just start cooking. You would have to wait anyway. So the best way to do it is you turn your griddle on, your grill, whatever you're going to fry, okay? Turn it on, heat it up, then put your oil. It's very easy. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make my chicken mixture. That's important, okay? You gotta get your chicken done first. So, so easy, you're not even gonna believe. Three ingredients, you've got the filling, okay? So, now remember that my chicken is already cooked. So basically I'm heating my chicken, okay? I'm gonna put a whole big can. This is the seven ounce can of diced green chili, okay? I'm putting the whole thing. Okay, so let's start with our chicken, just heating it up. This again, one of my all time favorite Mexican foods. And if you cut it up like little, like almost like little pizza slices and put it on the side of your plate with your soup, you dip, it's fabulous. So about how much chicken do you have there, do you think? Uh, act, this is three chicken breasts that I, that I got. Three, okay? So, I can add, I'm going to add a little garlic to this, but keep looking at my delicious you chicken. You it, so we got the skillet, this. chicken in the skillet the here. Remember everybody, away. yeah, remember that I use low sodium garlic salt because I don't use salt at all in my cooking. Now, that doesn't mean that who's ever sitting at my table doesn't like salt, and they can feel free to add salt, but in my cooking, you'll never find me using the salt jar, okay? Never. But I do use the garlic salt, and because it's less salt, it's got garlic, and the, the California blend has the flakes of parsley, so it's my favorite blend of garlic, okay? This is going to be amazing. You know, there are so many other people with conditions besides Meniere's who also have to be cautious about salt. People with high blood pressure, congestive heart failure, dialysis, all those patients have to be cautious about their sodium intake. So, you know, these recipes are great for the Meniere's sufferers and other balance disorders as well as, you know, some of these other people. So just what you got in there, Joe? Is it coming Ooh, together good? Let's, Let's there's, take there's a peek. There's 35 seconds Beautiful. left. Probably do it another <laughs> two minutes when that goes off. Dave, they, they look awesome. Woohoo! 
<laughs> they spread. Yeah, I had a feeling. Yes, they, they were, did. But that's they were okay. big. I mean, you'll still be able to separate those by, but they were pretty big scoops. So yes. if you don't want such a big cookie, use a smaller, a smaller ice cream yeah, scoop. Yeah. <laughs> Use a little melon baller or something. Yeah. Oh, oh, there's, there's little. Yeah, there are cookies too. <laughs> <laughs> cookies. Remember those little tiny cookies I made for Santa Claus that one year? I used like a piping bag thing. Like it's a piping bag tip oh, and they were like this big. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's what you do though. You experiment in the kitchen, right everybody? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to give epic fails. <laughs> Everybody's had an epic fail. In yeah. <laughs> Emily's back okay. there lamenting her kitchen I, failures. I have there have been only a few. And I'm going to put, that, that looks like a lot of green chili, but not when you do the, the green chili chicken. Quesadilla. And it, it's hard uh, to have too much green chili. It's, it's, it's one of those, you know, not enough green chili, not enough cheese, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. No such thing. No such thing. Okay, so let's get this all incorporated. Hello, Carol Boyer. Hi, Carol. Welcome, Hello, welcome. <laughs> okay, so right now, guys, all I'm doing is making the filling for my green chili chicken quesadilla. A quesadilla, again, is a folded tortilla with cheese, queso, dia, quesadilla. And so this is the filling. Quesadilla. Quesadilla. This is the filling for that, okay? Basically, you're just heating up the green chili. Okay, look at that. Oh my God, I love it. It's looking and smelling mm -hmm. amazing. How's my soup doing here? Looks pretty good. You can see all those little wisps that are like, oh uh, yeah. <laughs> mm. And I love roasted peppers. Oh and yeah. Well, when Dad put roasted them outside, it smelled pretty awesome. It was delicious. That was one of the things when I would go visit you guys. Yeah. Into the mornings, I would. Yeah, see. When artist yeah. was a artist was a tiny baby, <laughs> and I would go outside, and she'd wake up real early, and then one yeah. of the stores, Food City, would start to roast their peppers in the morning on out, see? outside. See, what did we just say? Yeah. She wasn't here for that conversation. Oh, I wasn't. Yeah. Well, that's, that's what Dad was saying. Oh. That's the smell of going outside. And oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's such a great smell. I am adding a whole package of my favorite, the McCormick Low Sodium Taco Seasoning. Okay, that's the basis, the actual Mexican flavor in the case of the Yoda chicken mix, okay? And, and trust me, guys and girls, this is so delicious. You, you're gonna want, you're gonna want to do this at home and look how easy and quick this is. Okay, save yourself time and make the chicken the night before. Seriously, it just saves so much time. It, oh, I got grandbabies here. Remember, everybody's out of school and yep. everything right now. They canceled school. So we've got grandbabies here. Oh, what's happening? Hey, we've got Dee Dee Merrill on the line. Hi, Dee Dee. Hey, Dee Dee. Dee, Dee she says, hello, Deaton's bringing <laughs> some AZ to Branson. You know it. So, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Okay, I am going to turn this down. I'm going to let that cook for just a few minutes, okay? I am going to add a little bit more water. Bit so I'm going to take water. a shot of these big cookies here. Okay, yep. You can because I'll tell you what, they look great. Yes. And they remind me, in how they look, um, of some of the the Mexican pastries that yeah. they had at oh, the yeah, stores yeah, as yeah. well. Yep. So that I just agree. really... <laughs> works perfectly that's, with today's meal. And that's really going to bring you home, huh? Yeah, what oh, yeah. are those called? Those like bun things. That's yeah, I don't like, know. Um, what are they? Yeah, what are they called? They're like the swirly buns. Things. Yeah, I don't okay. know, but they were great. All right, so look what I've got here. I've got the broth cooking. I've got the onion. I've got minced garlic. And I've got the poblano peppers all in here. And it is, the smell is to die for mm -hmm. in the kitchen right now. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic salt, even though we put the minced garlic, I'm going to add a little bit of the garlic salt to that. I'm going to turn that down. And what's going to happen with this meat is I'm going to take it all out, okay, clean this out, and then I'm going to start putting the quesadillas together, okay? I'm going to use the same pan to do that, but I'm going to you know what this make sure this is all cooked through. Alicia says they look like, I don't have my glasses on, pulverones? Is that what they're called? Oh. Pulverones, I think that is. 
that's your, I'm sure I she's think tried. that's, yeah. Well, Alicia would know, of and course. Alicia would know. <laughs> <laughs> I do. They, uh, down under here, I have the cookie. Hi! Can you show uh, our little baby? Where here? is Camille? Can you say hi to everybody? Hey, Marie Vaughn. Hey. Here. Say hi, everybody. Hi, Donna. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Chris, what I'm doing right now uh -huh. is I'm going to add my chicken because I want the chicken to be getting heated up in, in the okay. soup. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. That is looking oh, great. Oh, my gosh. Look at that soup. Now, when you're doing things, when you're making soup, <coughs> fast, easy, and delicious, if you don't save your broth and use that again, get those, the Swanson Low Sodium Chicken Broth or Vegetable, they have beef broth, get those because, man, does that cut the time in the kitchen, okay? Because a lot of times making broth is a process and it takes a long time. But, oh my gosh. Look at that, Emily, come look at this. Yes. Come see. I have to tell you, Emily was a skeptic about the pasole. <laughs> I love pasole. She said, because she loves pasole, and she said, Mom, how can you do it? You know, I said, I'm not going to lose, I'm not going to lose the integrity of the soup at all. I am going, oh, they, they need to be in there. Okay. Yeah. There's Tobin Cash. Hey, Mr. Cash. Do you see, like, the, 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 the line of Yes. I'm also going to be adding the taco seasoning, which remember, it's chili and cumin and oregano, and those are the seasonings in the pasole. I made sure I looked that up, so there you go. Okay, now, sometimes people make a green uh, pasole, uh, sometimes the red. The red seems to go, um, this is red now. But this seems to go better. I, I noticed that the pasole, the chicken pasoles were red. Yeah. Okay, but you can do a pork pasole. You can also do a, a chili, a straight chili pasole. Um, and that was green. And so, but today I'm doing, I mean, you have got, come over here and see this. Mm -hmm. oh, we got some, we got some excited grandbabies back there. <laughs> They're having a party now. Yes, they are. Hey, but you know what? Everybody's house is different right now because all the kids okay, are home. That's right. And God bless them all because I'll tell you what, my grandkids every day are, Emily is doing schooling with them. My other daughter, Elizabeth, she does schooling every day. God bless the moms and the dads who are keeping everything going and keeping their kids home safe and sound and, and educated. So that's a very good thing that's going on through a crisis that we're having right now. All right. Okay, guys, I'm taking out. <laughs> wow, guys. Okay, so I'm taking out my, my green chili chicken uh, mixture for the inside of my quesadillas. Okay. Oh, my gosh, I got lots of kids around here today. Okay. They're having a ball. They're having a ball. That's okay. That's okay. It is a different world we it's, live in. It's now. a very different world. And, you know, like everybody is having to do things differently anymore. We're having to do things differently. Okay. I'm going to wipe out my pan, okay? Um, because I don't want, I'm going to have to put more oil, more grease in here. And so I don't want any of the um, stuff that's going to make the grease splash. So I'm going to wipe this out. Solely. Oh, my gosh, you guys. The soli is looking great. It really, Ooh, really yeah. It's smelling great. Oh, that looks you got good. Got that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and how looking quick is good. this? I mean, come on, really? That's what I said. We can, we can do. We can keep the integrity of the soup and have everything in it that's in it. Okay. I might add. I may be adding a little bit of my broth just to make it a, 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 a deeper pot of soup. Mm -hmm. We'll see. You can, I can add that at the end if I decide that that's what I want to do. Would you add, I don't know, do you ever add like hot sauce? Like a, a uh, well, pepper a sauce or Well, a lot of people do that at the end. Okay. Because one of the things on the table, um, a lot of times um, when, the, when the pasole is done, people add like, radishes, they add cabbage. I have cilantro and lime, but you can add... Uh, um, sour cream, and you can add any what you know, anything, mm -hmm. anything to 
to the to the hot sauce, yes, a lot of people put that on the table when they've made pozole. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is cleaned out, and here's my stuffing, okay, my middle for my quesadillas. Now, this is going to be so easy. So, I'm going to make six, six quesadillas today. And remember I told you last time when we worked with tortillas, if you take these out earlier in the day, they'll be flexible. If you take these straight out of the refrigerator, they're going to break. Trust me, they're going to break. They're going to crack. And you don't want, you do not <laughs> want cracked uh, tortillas because then all your filling is going to come out. So if you just happen to, oh my goodness, I forgot to, you know, take the tortillas out, zap them for about 15 seconds. I was going to so say a few seconds on the microwave. Just to get the chill out so that they're flexible. Okay, so I'm going to add oil. <laughs> And I'm actually going to add like two tablespoons of butter to the bottom of the pan, okay? And the butter really is for flavor, okay? That's all that is. It's just for flavor. <laughs> Elizabeth said you should have grabbed some fresh cilantro for this. We I actually do. have it. I've got it. <clears throat> We've got fresh We've cilantro. Got Harlan says, I love hearing the sound of the families together. And the noise from the children is wonderful to hear. Here, look at my visitor. Here. I agree. We're going to swing around <laughs> to the kitchen here. Who do we have? Hi. Hi. Miss Amory Vaughn's up here in the kitchen. Hey, 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 baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let me show you how to assemble this, okay? I am going to put cheese on the bottom. Cheese on the bottom. Okay. I am going to put my filling mm -hmm. on top of that. Okay. Yep. Okay. But we're not right. stopping there. Cheese on the top. Oh, yeah. Fold it over. Stacy Darty is watching. Hello, Stacy. All right, let's do it again. Cheese on the bottom. Cheese on the bottom. Filling. She's on the top. Oh, Elizabeth said she meant cilantro from her garden. Oh, from her garden. Yeah, yes. she's growing it. That's awesome. We'll, we'll be hitting you up for that. Don't worry. Look at that. I'm going to add some of my own broth from last okay. night. Okay. Some this is, this is fresh homemade. Okay. Yeah. Some broth. Some homemade broth. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is homemade broth. And I did strain it last night so there's no, there's no excess. No extra pieces or anything like that. It was all strained last night. I mean, that is looking amazing. Mm -hmm. The very last thing I'm going to do after this simmers for a while is put the hominy. Okay? Uh, but for right now, oh my gosh. Let's see. On this side here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Ooh, buddy. Look at that. Those are beautiful. Those are absolutely beautiful quesadillas. I've got my little plate right here to drain any of the excess grease, okay? These do not take long, just nope. so you know. Do not take long. Now, if I by any chance had some of this meat left over, here's what you do. You get a whole plate of uh, um, tortilla chips, like yeah. store-bought, heat them up in your microwave, put them on a plate, and put this all over the top, and then put cheese in what do you want? Delicious. Got some great loaded nachos. Okay, there's our first quesadilla, guys. All right. First one and second. Those are done. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right, let's do some more. These don't take long. Okay, it's again, cheese. I don't want to sell nachos. Chopping. I want should say filling. Okay. Cheese. And. Okay, how much? We got about 30 minutes in here, guys. 30 we minutes. are 30 minutes in, and we are close to We're wrapping it up. We're just about done. Okay. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Yeah. What are you singing about? Are you singing? Oh, you got to get artists on the camera, too. Jen Dale says, not fair. She had leftover pot pie for lunch. Wow, what well, did I tell you? Pot pies are good. You were invited. Yes. Jennifer. Hey, let's hey, see. Hey, come take. I want you to get artists on yep, there. You haven't gotten artists on there. Artie. Hey. 
<laughs> Hi, baby. Say hello, everybody. Hey, are you drinking the punch? Is it good? She, mm -hmm. She's just mm -hmm. getting past the, the sugar. Rest. Sugar? <laughs> 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 Jeez. <laughs> oh, cheese? Now you say cheese. No, this one's cheese. Oh, cheese. you say cheese. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get back <laughs> over here to our seat. <laughs> cheese! She knows, what, she knows what to do with the camera. And she knows part of what's for lunch. Carol cheese! Said, what ingredients are in the filling? The filling is I use leftover chicken, I, I diced it up, I put a whole seven ounce can of green chilies. And I use my famous mild taco seasoning, my McCormick's taco seasoning. That's all I did. And those those four ingredients, that's it. That's the whole thing. So that brings to mind something else to remind you about. You can always go back and re-watch these episodes or go to our YouTube channel where you will see the episodes. You will also get graphics on the screen that tells you the measurements and what's going into each dish as you go. So we'd love to have you go to YouTube. Who? Andrew Rieger. Andrew Rieger. Hi, Andrew. Hey, hey, Andrew. That baby hey. of yours is beautiful. Beautiful baby. We hope everybody's doing well. And we're praying for everything to be great. Yes. But she is a beauty. That is a pretty, pretty little baby. Uh -oh. All right, you guys can be tasting the punch, by the way. I've got cups made up over there. Yeah. Okay, so now my soup okay, honey? has been cooking for a little bit. That is just looking amazing. Does yes, that it not is. look great? It does look great. Holy Smells cow. wonderful. And how quick is that? Like I said, in a, in a real authentic Mexican kitchen, pozole takes a long time. But in my kitchen, because I have Meniere's disease and everything that I do has to be really quick because I, I don't have the capacity anymore to stand for a long period of time. Like doing all my prep work today, everything. I had to do everything sitting down today, everything. And every day is a different day. So I never know what symptoms are going to pop up or how dizzy I'm going to be or how imbalanced I'm going to be. I never know. So I take one moment, and not even one day at a time, one moment at a time. And that's what the disease does to you. So I did all my prep work sitting down today. And all of these recipes, including my pozole, fast, easy, and delicious, fed up. Yes, you know it. Okay. Look at these. They're beautiful. Okay, I've got one more. I'm making six today, so I'm actually going to have more of the filling left. So if anybody wants to have some of that on tortilla chips, please feel free here at the house. You know, the kids might not be, this might not be the thing for the kids, but they like tortilla chips. Okay, see, that's the filling. That's what it looks like. I may do some of the nachos with them and yeah. put on a rerun of an old football game. We, we have all of this meat. I mean, you literally, you can make a lot more of these, but I'm making mm. six today. Okay, I'm just going to make six. Okay, so let's see how this baby's doing over here. Beautiful. Oh, gosh, you're so awesome. Okay, looks great. this is coming to a boil over here, and this is what I'm going to add the hominy, okay? How many is only going to take a few minutes? Ashley, are we done in the oven here? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And here goes my hominy. Woohoo! Look at that. All right, Em. Come see. <laughs> I just want you to come see. And remember again that I the research that I did on pasole, which is hominy. Look at this. Yeah, it looks good. Right? right? It's really good. Um, was that because right. the process of making it hominy? is taking the pericarp, the pericarp, which is the outside, if you look at a kernel of corn, that little hard yellow skin on it, but this process, nixtamalization, takes it off. It's like, it like pops that skin off. And people that have normal digestive problems can eat hominy a lot easier than they can eat corn. A lot, like Emily has ulcerative colitis, she cannot eat corn, cannot. But hominy, she doesn't have any problems with. So, I mean, you've had the hominy, Emily, haven't you? Oh, yeah. You've had hominy. Oh, yeah, Did it bother your stomach? Yeah. Not that you remember, yeah. Stacy says that she went and finally got a skillet. Good girl. <laughs> it's going to 
to make life a lot easier in the kitchen. Trust me, I use this thing for everything. You guys know that. And I have like literally months of recipes coming up and most of it's done right here in the skillet. My mom's got one. She and my sister, they live together. They use theirs all the time. Okay, guys, look. My no, quesadillas. Oh, there's that quesadilla they pie right there. Woo. Look at those. Those all over are that. beautiful. Look, guys. Yeah, those are beautiful. Those are beautiful. Look at that. So, yep, awesome. there they are okay. with our punch back right. here that Eden made. Let me my stuff here. Clean as you go. You know how I am. Right? Clean as you go. I hate a dirty kitchen. And the thing is, that saves you so much time afterwards. Emily, I'm going to give that to you to throw away. Yes. Okay, now, I'm going to let the soup simmer a few more minutes, and I'm going to make the icing for my cookies. Okay. okay. And the icing is going to take all of about 30 seconds to put together. Are you ready for this? I am. Okay. All right. Here we go. So I have a cup of uh, powdered sugar, confectioner sugar, same thing. Okay. And then I'm going to add some milk. Okay. And I'm just going to pour it in and I'm going to stir. Can you see that, Chris? Mm -hmm. What are you saying, little girl? Yeah. Jen says, hi from Brother 2, a.k.a. Sebastian. I think they're talking to Gingy, who is watching oh, with Alicia. Okay. <laughs> hi, Ginger. Okay, so this is just making a very, very quick icing that I'm going to drizzle on my cookies. Emily, I actually yes. want those, the whole thing, on this pan. Okay. The whole thing right on the pan because we're going to drizzle some. Right up. Yep. Let's put them up. There you go. Because I'm going to drizzle this on the cookies, but I'm going to add some of my lime zest and I'm going to add some, uh, you can put that in there. There you go. Lime zest. And was Sorry. there a little bit of juice there? Probably not. I okay. don't think there was. Ooh, that smells good. You can smell that fresh lime. Okay. Now see, I've got icing for my cookies and all this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to drizzle. I picked the flower. That looks great. Mm -hmm. That's it. I'm just drizzling this on the cookies. Can you guys see that out there? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And you leave, you know, put it back in the pan so that's one less thing you have to clean. You already have to clean the pan, right? Aisha yeah, said, Ginger yeah. said, send her a cookie. Those are Aww. her favorite. <laughs> I would, love to, I would love to be able to say, anybody out there want to order any of this, I'll get it to you. I haven't figured out how to do that yet, so could happen, could happen. Okay, guys, look at that. Perfect, beautiful, clean as you go. I'm going to clean my counter right here. Look at this. All right, guess what? We're ready to serve. Let's do it. I'm hungry. Ready to serve this meal. Ooh, there we go. Okay, okay so here we go. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a, uh, a, a quesadilla. I'm going to grab another plate here. And I'm going to cut one of the quesadillas, and I'll show you how I want to do that to put it on my plate. Okay? So I'm going to take this one right here. Okay. I'm going to slice it. I'm going to cut it in half. And then in quarters to make like little triangles, okay? There you go. Come on over. These are going to go right on my plate here. Ooh, look at all that cheese. Mm. Stretch is stretch. <laughs> okay. And I have cilantro and I have lime on my plate. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. And now I'm going to get my soup. <laughs> Let's get the soup. Look at this. I just want you to see that. The hominy, you just have to cook through, okay? But it's, look at this. Look at that soup. That really turned out an absolutely beautiful looking mm -hmm. soup. Hey, Am, I'm going to need some pictures, if you will. Yes. Okay. Like I said, some people, when this gets to the table, a lot of people put cabbage on top, they put radishes, they put some hot sauce, they put um, sour cream. Uh, today, I just have fresh cilantro and I've got lime. You know what would be delicious? What would be delicious? You take some sour cream and like your favorite kind of hot sauce and oh, yeah, some, you make a, a mix. squeeze of lemon or a squeeze of lime and you mix yeah. it up like a little crema there. Oh, heck yeah. Wow. Did it. That okay. looks great. 
look at that soup. I'm gonna turn this down. I'm gonna wipe my, you know me, I've gotta wipe the, the outside because I want, I want the, the things to look pretty too. Look at that. I'm gonna put some cilantro right there. Squeeze some lime right there. Looks amazing. What do you think, little one? Look at that, Ash. <laughs> 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 it's it's so She's <laughs> waiting for her taste. Okay. And then I'm going to take one of my big giant cookies here. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, okay, everybody, here's the whole meal. And really and truly, without me jabbing and stuff, it probably the whole meal from beginning to end was about 40 minutes. And that is pozole, which is how many soup? And that is the chicken, the green chili chicken quesadillas. We've got a, um, a citrus cookie. And we've got our punch that Eden and Emily made. So here it is. Try this. It's easy. Fast, easy, delicious. Thank you for joining me. And as we go out, I'm going to taste my food. Oh, my goodness. You want to try some food? Come on.